first grade, I'm here today to talk to you about a math lesson that we're going to do later in the week. So far in math, we've been studying tens and ones. We've been looking at different numbers and identifying how many groups of ten are in that number and how many ones. Well, that's going to really help us with the lesson this week in place value. For example, if you see the number 52 and I underline the two, and I ask you, what is the value of this number? That means, what does this number mean? How much is it worth? Well, to identify the value of a number, we're going to use our bundle sticks that we've been using in class. Let's make the number 52. How many groups of 10 are in the number 52? If you said 5, you're right. 1, 2, 3, four, five. Five groups of ten, and how many ones do I need? Two, that's right. I need two ones. One, two. So if you can see here, this is my number 52. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. So let's take a look at this number again. What does this two mean? It represents the number two. It means there's two ones. Let's change it and underline the five. What is the value of five and 52? That means what does this number equal? Well, let's take a look at our sticks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The value of five is 50. When we put 50 and two together, it makes the number 52. This is practicing identifying place value. We're gonna try this a couple more times, and if you would like, I would let, I want you to get a piece of paper and pencil, and that will help us, and you can copy with me, and we'll identify place value of numbers. Go ahead and get that paper and pencil right now, and we'll wait. Ready? Okay. So our first number we're gonna identify is the number 14. If you see that I've underlined the number four and I want to know the place value, I wanna know how much this four is worth. What's the value of that underlined number? So in your mind, I want you to think, you can draw a picture if you would like, of one group of 10 and four ones. I'm gonna show you with our bundle sticks. So in the number 14, we have one group of 10 and we have four ones. Three, four. So if we look at our underlying number, and I said, what is the value of this number? You would tell me four. And you can see with our bundle sticks that there are four ones. Now let's move to the next number, the number 20. So again, we're gonna think how many groups of tens are in 20 and how many ones? What is the value of two in this number? What does that number mean? Well, let's make it with our bundle sticks. How many groups of 10 do I need? Two, that's right. One, two. How many ones do I need? Zero, that's right. I do not need to stick out any more ones. So let's take a look here. What's the value of this two? Let's count. 10, 20. The two is worth 20. So the value is 20 as well. Very nice job. Let's move on to the next number, 31. We're looking for the value of this 1 in 31. Let's make our bundle sticks. So how many groups of 10 do I need? 3. Great job. 2, 3. Here's 3 groups of 10. And how many 1s do I need? That's right, just 1. So what is the value of this one? Well, let's take a look at our number. The value of one is one because this is how many ones we have. Very nice, I think you're ready for the last one. The last one, our number is 55. So let's build our number with our, block, or our sticks. How many groups of 10 do I need? That's right, I need five. Two, three, four. Five. Can you see those? There you go. 
So we have five groups of 10, and now I need five ones. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So here's our number 55. What is the value of this underlying number? Well, we know it's in the 10 spot, so we're going to count our 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The value of this 5 would be 50 because it's in the 10 spot. Very nice job. So what I would like you to do now is go ahead with someone at home, your mom, dad, brother, sister, write down numbers, and I will want you to underline either the tens or the ones, and I want you to practice identifying the place value. That means how much is that number worth. Practice that a few times, and you're going to be ready for our lesson later this week. Have a good night, and we'll see you soon.